Hey guys, I'm back with another episode of Vanilla Minecraft from the Minecraft server. Yes, it is still vanilla even though we are using the no health regen mod because that is part of the vanilla game now. It's an option you can choose. So yes, it's vanilla. Stop telling me about it. <laughs> and this is season three for me. So stop telling me that it's season four. It is season three. It is the fourth season of Minecraft the server, but it is the third season for Beef the player. Anyway, first things first, we're going to enchant a pick today, and I still, I'm not used to, we desperately need fortune. This is what we have left in terms of diamonds. Uh, I'm hoping if I don't get fortune, I at least get a silk touch so I can trade it for fortune with somebody. That would be great, but I'd rather just get fortune myself. I was going to enchant a bow, and then I thought, you know, I don't have any arrows. <laughs> So that bow is going to sit there collecting dust. I need a chicken farm or something, to be quite honest. Get some arrows going. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, over here. Yeah, 30 levels. I got these 30 levels by caving. Simple. I mined all the redstone, coal, and iron I could find. I have some iron cooking up to get me even more levels. Oh, please be fortune. Please be fortune. Ah, silk touch. Silk touch and unbreaking. Silk touch and efficiency. Anyone need a silk touch? touch diamond pick will trade for fortune three huh anybody I got two of them now I got silk touch and unbreaking which I'd rather keep than the efficiency because it doesn't break but don't tell them that anybody come on respond with a yes absolutely let's do this Anyone have a fortune three? Sorry, buddy, only have one fortune three. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let these cook up and we'll get some more levels from those, but we still do not have a fortune three pick. This is very saddening news. What am I gonna do? I need more quartz. Well, I'm level 21 already. I was, uh, I was out caving, just collecting redstone, pretty much redstone and, uh, and coal and ores and stuff. So I'm level 21 already. I'm on my way back and I noticed this over here. Not this. Not this. We've been in here. There's also a couple zombies coming for me. Um, there's a sign over here. Let me just let me just kill these guys first. You can probably see the sign already. Look at this. JL was here. JL zip code? JL was here. Huh. He's... I don't know if he's supposed to be here. <laughs> but apparently he was here. JL was. Um, Alright, well, that's, that's all I had to show you. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I've got a couple things planned. But I think... I'm going to try one more time for the fortune pick. And if that doesn't work, I have a backup plan. And hopefully the backup plan goes well. But right now I just came to get some feathers because I need a book for my backup plan. You'll see what it is. I'm gonna make my way home now, in the dead of night. In the dangerous, dangerous desert. In a world where zombies call their friends to kill you. One man. <laughs> I'll stop now. Yeah, one shot. This guy's not gonna take one shot. Two shots, he dropped some boots, fantastic. What is this guy? Drop some chain mail, brother. Ah, no chain mail, that's a shame. What kind of boots are these? Ooh, projectile projection two. That's pretty good. Pro projection, projectile projection. More fighting things in the desert. Ugh. No, you bastard. Ooh. Level twenty-five. Uh oh, babies. Oh, you got me, little little bastard. Oh no! Down three and a half hearts, not bad, not bad. Working on my skills. Skills, like Gangstar. Skills. Anybody know who Gangstar is? Come on. Who knows who Gangstar is? All the 20 somethings and 30 somethings. Still level 25. This is going to be a while. Maybe I should find. 
a uh, maybe I should find a quick cave to head into and grab some redstone and or iron and or coal. Oh man, there's a lot of these guys in the desert. There's more? One? Just the one? Ah. Oh. Huh? Wasn't he right there? Moving on. Holy crap, guys. A dungeon! This, I think, is only my second one. I heard, look at this, I got so lucky. I came into this cave thinking, okay, I'm gonna go collect some stuff. Oh, this cave's a dud. I went over here, this was all sealed up. I was walking out, and then I heard skeleton sounds. I'm like, oh, there might be a cave nearby. I get down here, and look at what I find. There's two chests right there. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know how to handle this, though. Can I... Oh, let's light that. And maybe if we can... Yeah, this guy... Okay, he's dead. Can I reach... Oh, this is not gonna... Oh! Oh, they're fighting each other. Nope. Some of them are fighting each other. Now, let's do this. Let's do this. Wow, I didn't... <laughs> nice! I didn't take any shots. Three bows. Holy crap. Alright, well, I got a bucket and some wheat. I did find a couple saddles. That's always good. Some bread, some more wheat. Name tags! <sighs> Name tags! Name tags. Oh, name tags. <laughs> Finally, I have, I have name tags. What am I tossing out here? The sand can go... Uh, I'll keep the redstone, why not? I sort of want to keep the gunpowder. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of these bows. In fact, let's make use of them. Finally, some name tags. This is unbelievable. Horse armor. And I'll take the... No, I won't take the sand because I got to... Oh, I can leave this. I need sand. You guys are probably thinking, why are you taking all the sand? Because I gotta clear out a bunch of water, and sand is the easiest way to do it. I'm definitely gonna get this too, though. Name tags! <laughs> wow, I can name David Asselhoff now. Is there there's a cave in here too? And I'm still not at level 30, so maybe I'll stick around here a little bit. Ooh, magic water. Look at look at that. Magic water. I'll stick around here a little bit, collect some iron, maybe kill some mobs, get close to level 30, and then go home, cook the iron, name David Asselhoff, finally. I still have to decide if it's going to be David Asselhoff or David Asselhoof. I'm leaning towards the hoof now. It just makes more sense. That's the cave I was in. That's just blocking some water. Look at this. I dig down here, and what do I see? Another abandoned mine shaft. And I hear spiders, right away. Come on, man, these spiders are the worst. Alright, come here. I don't, I, I should stay away. I should stay away. this I should stay away but how can you turn down an opportunity to find chests oh my gosh another one there was another one drink there's a chest there did you guys see that Imagine I find another name tag now. That would be just, just an insult, really. <laughs> I've been looking for them for so long, and I'm just gonna find like three or four in one episode. These skeletons are not skeleton spiders. Are worrying me just a bit. They could be below. All right, here. Oh, here we go. Moment of truth. What could it be? What could it be? Pumpkin seeds and a piece of iron. Really? Okay, well. So much for that. 
pumpkin seeds and a piece of iron. How lame. Alright, level 27. I should be heading back soon. Oh, we gotta come back here. Man! I have been finding a lot of abandoned mine shafts. Which I guess is a good thing. There's some more iron down there. I don't think I have enough iron to get me to 30 levels. This is where I came in. Okay. There are terrible, terrible spiders here. I hear the pitter-patter of their disgusting feet. That, yep, those are the poisonous ones. Alright. Um, creeper, do not knock me into the lava. I will murder you. Oh, no! You! Mm! Dang it, man. Block myself off here. That's the worst. They take... Oh, look. Anders finally says hi. I've been on here for, like, so long. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, man. These spiders are the worst. One shot, and it's, like, game over. It's like, GG, bro. All right. I got to take some health potions. I'm leaving this place. I'm at level 27. Even if I get an enchant at level 28, I still have a pretty good chance of fortune. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's get you in there, and let's get going here. Assuming... No other spiders. Alright, I think it's this way. Yep, this is the place. I do want to come back here, though. Maybe when UHC mode is off. <laughs> maybe when health re regen mode is back on, maybe I'll come back here. But I'm very happy. I found a spawner with name tags in it. I can name Beatrice, too! Didn't even realize. Beatrice, you're gonna get a name! Ah, oh, poor Beatrice. Let's see. Let's make it out of dirt. Make it look a little more natural. There's going to be stuff coming for me, though. Yep, there's stuff coming for me. Okay, home is that away. I'm going to make a run for it. That's a pretty cool glitch. A window into the ocean. <laughs> you can see all the squids in their natural habitat. They got all the caves down there too, man. They got a lot of stuff down there. I'm more interested in the squids though. Derpy derp, just swimming through the water. I need a pet squid. Can I get closer? Ah, I ruined it. There's still a little bit of a window there. Hey, squid. Yeah, he's gone now. Yep, that just happened. Dang it, man. You've got to be kidding me! 27 levels! 27 levels gone because of a sneaky creeper. You know, it wasn't even the creeper. It was a baby zombie that came after me and I was fighting him and because of that I did not see the creeper behind me. Oh, man. Let's just make sure no other creepers come in. Whoa. Uh... Blocks, hurry. There's my name tags. There's stuff. Get this on me. Five levels. Five. Mm, I hate your babies! There's my pick. Just make sure I have everything here. I cannot believe that. Down to six levels now. Uh, yeah, I think I have all the important stuff. Oh, man, that is that is just so frustrating. Why? <laughs> Why? Great. Okay, well, I guess I need... I'm not going to get the fortune pick. Because um, I don't have any levels to make one. But I have a plan. I have a plan, and hopefully it'll work. I need to advertise that I have a pick for sale. I have a Silk Touch pick for sale on this server... Are these guys still attached? Let me just make sure there's no creepers behind me. I don't know if they're still 
attached. Is this guy still attached? What the heck, man? He is attached. Okay, so it's just invisible. All right, let me log out and log back in. Yeah, it's just invisible. Okay, good. Let's just make sure Beatrice is still attached too. Yep, yeah, good. Right? Yeah, you can't see the string, but it's there. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Alright, let's put this iron in there. Uh, I guess that's it. Let's get our supplies here. Well, at least we found some name tags. I need to make an anvil, don't I? I sure do. That's how you make it, right? I'm trying to remember. I don't make them that often. Yes. Alright. Oh, do I need levels to even name the name tags? I probably do. Dang it, man. Let's put in some saddles here. Look at me. I have saddles now. Where's my horse armor? There it is. Uh, let's get the leather armor that I found in here. Let me just get organized. I will be back in a jiff. I am ready to name. Five. Okay, not bad. David Asselhoof. David Asselhoof, right? Yeah. That's how you spell it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> David Asselhoof. Okay. This guy is going to be so happy he finally has a name. I can't name Beatrice because I don't have five levels because the creeper blew me up. In case you hadn't noticed. You shift. Wait, how do you do this? Just like this? Yes! David Hasselhoof! Finally, he has a name! I'm so happy mm. for him. Alright, now for the backup plan for the fortune pick. We need a fortune pick badly. Let me go, um, I have an idea. I have an mm. idea. Now, we haven't been to spawn in a while. Look at the, uh, the town hall's coming along nicely. I have flight four boots, apparently. <laughs> because B double O was seeing me in the sky. Town hall's coming along nicely. He's done a lot of work since I was here last. Man, I, I gotta come back to spawn every once in a while. You get free health regen, it's amazing. <laughs> There's the infamous logo. Looking good, looking good. Totally does not look like what we always say it looks like. Just looks fine. I'm gonna lurk. Oh, hi there. What are you doing? Where are you looking? Why are you just looking around there? Look at him with like diamond chest. And boots. All I have is a diamond helmet. I don't even have it on. I just have some crappy old iron armor that's about to die on me. Alright, let's take a look around here. And then we'll start our advertising frenzy. Advertising frenzy? No, our advertising campaign to trade this silk touch pick for a fortune pick. Whose is this? This looks kind of cool. Could it be Packrat's? Because I know Packrat was making the mine here. Man, I gotta watch people's videos, but I have no time. I barely have time to record videos, let alone watch everybody's. Wow, nice checkerboard pattern you got going. Wait, what did this sign say? I think it just says Community Mine, right? Yeah, Community Mining Shaft, okay. This place looks interesting. It looks very, very flammable. Chests. Oh, there's some stuff. Projectile Protection 2, nice. Power 2 bow. Oh, where'd you get all the arrow? Oh, probably from the skeleton farm. Looking a little empty in here, but I'm sure that'll change. We had something else back here. I wanted to check out. What is this? Who's play? Oh, this is Anders Road. I know that for a fact. Under construction. Looks that way, but whose is it? Henderzel, 200 blocks. Easy. Mail, 63212, nice smile. 200 vlog, that's funny. Mr. Sparky, electric creep. Creeper, I'm, I'm, that's probably Anders. Anders probably made that sign. I gotta make a road to spawn. Man, I got a lot to do, but I really need a fortune three pick before I start moving on. It feels like a huge waste of time. What? Oh, this is, uh, I think this is generic bees. Maybe? 
I think he said he was building like a little a donkey asylum or something. But this looks more like a horse than a donkey. Anders sells horsery, armor, saddles, and leads open 24-7. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of leads. A bunch of saddles. Payment here. How much? How much? Price in diamonds. Armor. Diamond is five. Iron is three. Gold is two. Saddles, two. Ten leads, two. I don't have any diamonds with me, but I gotta come back to this shop, man. I don't have an ender chest. I don't know why I'm opening that. Your horse slow? Then ask Bubba for this. Bubba? His name is Bubba? Don't steal or Bubba will get you. My dog's name is Bubba. That's, a, that's adorable. I don't know if he knew that or not. I gotta start watching people's vids, man. How did I miss this? This looks great. I hope I'm not spoiling anything. Oh, man, that would suck. Um, if I'm spoiling something, make sure you go to Anders' video and give it a like and a favorite if he hasn't shown it. And even if he has, just do it. This is pretty cool. I like that's <laughs> such a derpy face. Okay, let's go ahead and start our, our campaign to, to get rid of this silk touch pick. Um, I'm figuring, you know, like a giant, a giant sign at spawn is what's going to get people's attention. And what kind of sign do you think would get people's attention for a pick? I mean, if somebody's in the market for a pick, maybe a giant pick at spawn? Well, maybe a little book letting people know? Who is uh, selling their pick or willing to trade their pick? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get started on that here. All right, got my materials ready. I think this is the spot. We're gonna go ahead and build it not too far from uh, Swamp Swample, I think it's called. And hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> but we'll see. Pyro, join the game. Welcome back. We both slept. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna. Like I said, we're gonna create a giant pick. People are not gonna be ooh, people are not gonna be able to avoid it. They're gonna think to themselves, man, that giant pick sure looks tempting. I wonder if somebody's selling a giant pick or willing to trade a giant pick. I have a fortune pick that I would like to get rid of, and I am looking for a silk touch pick. Let me go and read that sign. <laughs> They're gonna say all of these things. Uh, let's do that. Right, so that's four, four. I think we need nine. I did it in creative earlier in uh, in my test world. It's pretty easy, actually. It doesn't look great. Generally, I would use a uh, diamond or diamond blocks for the pick, but I can't. I can't use diamond blocks. I'm a poor guy, so I'm gonna have to use whoa, <laughs> cyan and light blue, which doesn't exactly look like a diamond pick. But what can you do? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if they're going to get mad that I'm building here. It's totally temporary, guys. This is just an advertisement for my pick. I'll put it in the book if I remember. I hope I remember. Who's going to get mad at me? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow. It seems a lot. It's so much easier to build this in creative, man. It's crazy. Got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. One more. Anders is back. Welcome back. So let's go over here. Right. Let's do that. The dark log at the bottom. And um, one on top. Like so. That doesn't really, that may or may not work. Hold on a second here. Let me just get on the pick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was, I'm really good at jumping. One of my favorite things to do is jumping puzzles in Minecraft. It's just, I'm just so awesome at them. Right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's perfect. Now let me get on this thing. Try to work out the picky part. It's nice being at spawn. It feels oh, that's Ethos place. Oh, I gotta remember to show you guys that. I haven't uh, I haven't been there yet. Uh, okay, so we got this there. We'll do. This is so much harder to do. Oh man, I don't even know. Am I doing this right? think so 
Now this is like five blocks over. Um, four. I think it's five, including this. One, two, three, four, five. I think. I think. I did not leave myself a good way out. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to fall. Right. Good. Now let's dig down. Let's have a look at it. Does that look right to you guys? I think so. I think that's right. So now let's cover this, or not cover it, but it's a dirt cheap. What? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I will be visiting there soon. Great deals. What? Oh, I'm all set on horses. No, he sells horse supplies. Horses and horse accessories. Uh, let's see. We got a W there. We need one more. This needs to come down like so. Three, four, five. Right? Sure. Now let's put the cyan on the outside. This totally does not look like a diamond pick, but this is all we have to work with. I'm not using diamond blocks because I don't have them. Let's see if this looks decent. Yeah, that looks good, right? Is this one longer than that one? One, two, three. No, it's not. It's not. Well, let's go ahead and put the cyan stuff on the inside here. Like so. We need another cyan over there. I think the rest of them I, I can do from the top of the pick, maybe. So here. Oh, right. I still need to do like the little nub. The nub. Make one there. Right. So, um, this needs to be one of these. I think. I guess I'll find out if I'm doing this right in a second. Uh, that needs to be there. I guess that continues the angle. Yes, I think so. I think so. Now let's put the cyan here and then below right here are we done I think we're done ah yeah <laughs> it's temporary pyro <laughs> I hope people don't think I'm like building something here permanently. It's just an advertisement for my silk touch pick that I have for trade. That looks pretty good. No prop. Was worried in case I showed something I wasn't meant to. Nah. All right. So now we need a chesticle right over here. Maybe we should make the chest sort of like display the chest on what looks like a diamond block, possibly. I don't have enough cyan to do that, though, I don't think. <laughs> No, I don't. Dang it! Well, we could do it just one. I guess. Yeah, we could do just one. You know what? This would be good too because it's like a big eyesore at spawn, so it'll force people to trade their pick with me so that I can get rid of <laughs> the, the, the monument here. Oh. We'll do this. Yeah, let's just make it a square. This has to catch people's attention. You know? Here we go. We'll have a sign on top of it. Silk. Touch. Pick. For sale. Um. No, I gotta, I gotta tell them in... Oh. I'll do this off camera because I might make a ton of mistakes. 
All right, here we go. I got it all ready to go. You see this? It says, Silk Touch Pick for Trade. Read book for more info. The book will be in here. Here was what the book says. Greetings. Vintage Beef is offering up a one-of-a-kind Silk Touch Pick for Trade. The pick is brand new, has never broken a block, and has the amazing added bonus of Efficiency 3. In return for said pick, Vintage Beef is looking for a Fortune 3 pick that also has never broken a block. No additional enchants necessary. Don't let this amazing offer pass you by. Contact Beef today. Please note that the signage is temporary. The giant pick you see before you will be taken down immediately following the trade completion. Thank you for your time, Vintage Beef. There we go. Hopefully, I get a buyer or a trader. <laughs> Hopefully, I get a trader. <laughs> oh, man, but now I think, I think I'm off to... Uh... Oh, look at all the baby cows. Oh, so cute. Oh, yeah, I want to show you Edo's building, and then that's going to be the, the end of the episode. Um... I, I need a fortune three pick before I can move on because I need quartz and uh, yeah I can't do anything without quartz. I mean I could do stuff without quartz, but quartz is so integral in my build that uh, not having it is is gonna be. I'll, I would have to build everything. Ouch! Oh, I didn't damage me. I'd have to build everything differently first out of different blocks and then replace everything. It'd be a huge waste of time. But this is Etho Corp. Um, quite the interesting building here. Looks pretty good. Whoa, easy now. There's a black stallion here on the loose. Is this guy up for grabs? Because I'll take him. Is this, does this guy belong to anybody? There's horses everywhere here, man. I think I'm just going to come to spawn and steal some horses. <laughs> I'm a horse thief. But yeah, this is looking pretty cool. Ethos little building here. I hope I'm not spoiling anything. He showed most of this last episode. I did watch his episode. Some of it, anyway. I didn't even have time to watch the whole thing, man. He's got, like, a drive through here for horses, but I think you got to enter the other side. Yeah, you got to go through here. There's That's awesome. There's, like, a tripwire. As soon as you pass by, it fires speed potions, and your horse is automatically faster. I should do that with David Asselhoff. 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 Hoof. Asselhoof. Man, I should have named him David Asselhoff. It's much easier to pronounce. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, kind of a different episode. Lots, lots of different things happen. I believe that's a Vidya's place. Man, this guy has some quartz, doesn't he? Is this a Vidya's place? He's like building the White House or something. Don't touch me, creeper. Oh, there's a zombie here with chain mail. I want to get complete. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's keep moving. Keep moving. Those guys just... Oh, it's not a zombie. It's a skeleton. What does it say? A video. Yep, this is a video's place. Looks awesome, man, but... You're taking all my quartz. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. Huh. There's a villager. Oh, there he is. wonder what this is. Oh, it's a zombie trap. Yeah. It's a oh, zombies come in. And they fall in the lava. That's pretty good. Ouch. Okay. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Oh, please don't. Bro oh, my gosh. video. I'm so sorry. I got to get going. I got to get out of here. Creepers are going to blow up video stuff. But, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.